Hey there guys, what's up? It's me, Alex Sandberg, back here with a brand new video, and welcome back to Gingy Reaction. We've heard reactions, movie reviews, and so much more. And today, I am reacting to the brand new official second trailer for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Now, while I myself have not indulged in George Miller's uh, original Mad Max series with uh, Mel Gibson, I have watched Fury Road, and I absolutely love Fury Road. And it's very interesting to me that that's a continuation of the Mel Gibson series with Tom Hardy as Ma uh, Mad Max. It still blows my mind. But Fury Road also introduced us to Furiosa, played by Charlie Theron, who was incredible in that film. But now we have a prequel showing us the journey of Furiosa, played by Anya Taylor-Joy and also starring Chris Hemsworth. Now, even though I haven't seen the other ones, I am very much in love with the world of Mad Max after Fury Road. I'm going to watch the Mel Gibson uh, one soon, but for now, we're going to watch this brand new trailer for one of my most anticipated movies of 2024. So without further ado, let's get straight into this reaction and see what George Miller has for us now in three, two, one. Ooh. We've come too far. Oh, the green place. I thought my thing glitched. Oh, whoa. I thought my thing glitched for a minute there. Oh. The last time I'm George Miller, the, the coloration of the camera returns. As a child, my world was forever changed. Oh. At least there I'm doing the was magnificent. Ooh, the voiceover. Oh my gosh. And he took it all from me. There it is. Who do we have here? She's from a place of abundance. This is our destiny. Man. My childhood. It looks good. It does really, really good. I want them. I think she's gonna kill it in this. I think she's gonna kill it in this movie. Anya Taylor Joy. Whoa. Whatever you have to do. Dang. Dang. Protect the green It's time to take what rightfully out. Looks insane. Obviously, it looks. Oh, they're back. Who are you? Yeah, the war boys. Go about our shotgun. Okay, Hemsworth. If you find Joe. Oh my god! <laughs> Turn with the vengeance. Heck yes, you will. Whoa! Be war, but yeah. Curious to see how she gets her arm. The world. Dang. That's for sure. Remember me. Remember me. <laughs> this actually looks really good. Now, I will note. I will say. That there is, there seems to be a whole lot more CGI in this than there was in Fury Road. However, I believe George Miller had talked about this and spoke about, like, you know, how difficult it was with Fury Road doing it all a lot practically. So I can understand why he would want to use a bit of CGI here and there, but honestly, the CGI doesn't really look that bad, uh, in my opinion. I know a lot of people were like, when the first trailer came out, they were like, oh, CGI, there's a lot of, like, a lot of CGI, a lot of visual interesting things, and I'm like, it doesn't look too bad, but like, you know, at the same time, it's something that you have to watch in full, like, these are just little snippets, but overall, from the snippets, it doesn't look that bad, honestly, to me, I couldn't really, like, you can see a difference, but like, at the same time, it doesn't look terrible, like, a, like, like a lot of CGI, um, but no, so, we had, I'm very excited to explore the green place, I like, again, the great use of coloration in these like the returns from Fury Road, like with the blue, with the with the with the scorching sun on the desert, with the black, with this very interesting black and white. But the only thing being, it's kind of like Wonder Vision in this shot here. Uh, but Furiosa gets taken away and gets captured from the Green Place. 
uh, from Master My George Miller right here. And I honestly, I do think Anya Taylor Joy is going to do great in this role because she is a great actor, actress. Um, and I do think she has uh, the talent to be a young Furiosa. We get a shot here of Furiosa's mother. Uh, I'm very excited to explore her backstory and her relationship, or like you know, for as much as we get, because I don't. I'm guessing Furiosa's mother doesn't make it out of this alive. Um, the relationship between them, but. Being an A-class sniper right here, just banging this guy off his bike right there and driving away. Uh, then we get Chris Hemsworth's character just standing up there all menacing with his red cape and a teddy bear on his, on his jacket. And I'm wondering where the teddy bear came from, but I guess that'll be explored. Uh, I feel like I should recognize who this guy is, but then we have a young Furiosa being brought to Chris Hemsworth's character. Even if some of it is CGI, the cinematography, look like this shot here, like, cinematography always looks really fun. I love these shots of the, the various vehicles that have been created in the world of Mad Max. Like, Chris Hemsworth's literally riding a chariot of what, two, three bikes? Which I think is very fun. So, like, it's definitely going to be a movie about Furiosa going on her path of vengeance and, you know, becoming the person that we see her become in Fury Road. Yeah. I tell you, Joe's, ugh. Just some this shot, too, of her just backing up the car and escaping. Like, this highway action scene with the truck and Furiosa around it looks great as well. Like, you can, you can tell that there is, like, CGI used, but... At the same time, I'm really hoping my camera wasn't out of focus there. Future Harry will tell me. But at the same time, it doesn't look, like, bad. You know? Uh, oh, this is a shot. Immortal Joe. Ah, I can't remember who this guy is, but, like, I believe they said that in Fury Road he was a cannibal. Um, and then uh, Immortal Joe's son. One of his sons, I believe that is. Ah, oh, very excited to see them back. I wonder who this person is. A lot of people were saying that this is a young Immortan Joe, but I don't think that's the case here. Um, I'm very curious to learn who you are, because you do seem to form a relationship with Furiosa. Oh, this shot of the war boys on the rig with their explosive spears. Very cool. This airborne ship firing down, and it looks like Wanderer got stuck in the thing. Furiosa driving the truck, which is very fun. Double Barrel Shotgun, which is great. Immortan Joe and Furiosa, one-on-one. -on -one. I love this, okay? Furiosa's using a sniper rifle to try and kill him. But then Immor but then he just whips out a rocket launcher. Just great. She will return with a vengeance. And she does. And then Furiosa cutting her hair to the iconic look that we see with her with. With her arm as well. I'm very curious to see how she loses her arm. Yeah, very cool. Uh, and also, like, that we get Charlize Theron doing a voiceover. Um, which, you know, makes sense. Because, you know, she was Furiosa. But it's nice to have that connection to Fury Road. But overall, I'm still very excited for Furiosa Mad Max saga. Um, like I said, it may there may be some CGI involved. But at the same time, in, in, the, in George Miller. George Miller has made the Mad Max franchise what it is. And um, what I've seen and heard about the Mel Gibson films and also just Fury Road in general, he's done a very solid job with it so far. So I don't think he would do anything to like jeopardize that in a sense. You know, some people might have mixed feelings on the CGI. I overall think that while I am more of someone who enjoys more practical things, as long as the CGI and the visuals look good, and have like, like the have like the practical aspect, but then are enhanced by the by like the computer rendering stuff. Then I'm all for that. And as long as it looks good, it looks good. And not gonna lie, like I said, it looks pretty good in this, especially within like the high speed parts of the trailer, which is very cool. This shot too, it's just such a good shot. Furiosa with the Immortal Joe signal, her arm, her shaven head, the black oil on her forehead. I love the music too. 
like, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Fury is the Mad Max Saga, still one of my most anticipated movies of 2024, and I cannot wait to see Furiosa, a Mad Max story, when it comes to theatres on May 24th, during Memorial Day weekend, and that is my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed it, make sure down below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to join the hashtag nerd notification squad, and also, follow me on TikTok right here, and I'll see you guys in the next video, where it will be my trailer reaction for the second official trailer for the full guy. So, I'll see you guys then. Peace!